What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Asia. And it's your boy, BJ. And, and we, we back, back like we, we never left. left. Appreciate y'all for tuning in, pulling up on another movie night. Yeah. And tonight, hey, look like, hey, we matching. First, first and foremost, we're already <laughs> matching. I know, I know y'all going to be like, Asia and BJ, they so color coordinated, <laughs> but in actuality, then, that's just what she put on today. Yeah, it just happened. That was a coincidence. Yeah, because I had a hoodie on earlier, <laughs> and, and all of a sudden, you come in here, and you got you got on orange, orange. and you got on black. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well. It just worked out. But we appreciate y'all for hitting that thumbnail. Tonight, we're getting into the movie Snatch. Uh, this is a movie from 2000, from, I think, 2000, and it has Jason Statham, and it has uh, Brad Pitt in it. Uh, that I see. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. I've never heard of this movie before, so yeah. I'm excited to get into something new, but make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, smash the notification bell so you don't miss any videos from Asia and BJ. Tap into the Patreon, y'all. We have all of our unedited, uncut videos, including our TV series over on Patreon. Make sure y'all tap in and shoot. Let's go ahead and jump into this video, y'all. Hey, let's get into it. My name is Turkish. Funny name for an Englishman, I know. That's Tommy. He's my partner. That doesn't mean we hold hands or take windy walks. What do I know about diamonds? I'm a boxing promoter. I think that's Jason Statham. It's a nice story, Adam and Eve. Okay, yeah. What is it? What do you want I should do? Drop my pants? Okay, go for it. <laughs> I wish TSA would do that to me at the airport. Right. It's not every day a virgin conceives and bears a son. They look like they Amish or something. Yeah, they do. I kept us waiting for half an hour. Are you trying to give me heartburn? <laughs> oh, oh, they Amish, all right. Amish finna take all your stuff. Where's the stuff? What stone? That is the stone. Oh. Uh oh. Okay. <laughs> oh, look at that. Did you just see that? Yeah. How big is that diamond? Oh my. Gorgeous George. Oh. Oh. Man, look at that. Ooh. Right. Look at it. How am I supposed to run this thing from that? I want a new one, Tommy. You're going to buy it for me. What? Is the mobile home in the office? <laughs> What's wrong with this one? Oh, nothing, Tommy. <laughs> no. It's tip top. It's just I'm not sure about the color. <laughs> What's that? What is a gun doing in your trousers? It's for protection. These Where accents get are getting me. Or it's the blade. There's a reason for Tommy's newfound enthusiasm for firearms. Brick top. If that's not worth a bet, I don't know what is. Brick top's favorite means of dispatch. Involves a stun gun, plastic bag, a roll of tape, and a pack of hungry pigs. Feed them to the pigs, Harold. Feed them to the pigs. Oh, look like they suffocated them with a bag. Now, don't let me down. You don't want to let me down, do you, boy? Boris, Frankie Four Fingers has a diamond the size of a fist. It's in the briefcase connected to his arm. He's going to stay in London only for a couple of days, so move quick, okay? Clean no Florence. It's a beautiful story. You're a good boy, Frankie. And you did a real good job. Don't go screwing it up, all right? I hear you, RB. I'll see you, RB. I'm starting to kind of figure out, like, everybody right now is like players in the game, I guess. I'm buying a caravan. Off a pack of fucking pikeys. What's wrong with you? What's up, pikey? I don't know. That might be a, that might be a bad word. I don't know. Now, there is a problem with pikeys or gypsies. What are you doing, Potter? Can't really understand much of what is being said. Oh, a gypsy. Fuck me. Just look at the size of it. How big are you? Hey, man, come and look at the size of this fella. Bet you back's a little concert for. You look like a boxer. See if the fellas would like a drink. <laughs> oh, you little fucker. That's not Irish. 
Okay, Dags. Do you like Dags? Dags. What? Yeah, Dags. Dags? Do you like Dags? Oh, dogs. Sure. I like Dags. I like caravans more. <laughs> Good dog. Good family. He <laughs> <laughs> just slapped him. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> he just popped the mess out of him in the head. What the? Oh, did he lose a wheel? Oh, they're not going nowhere. Axel came off of it. Oh. Just give us our money back and you can keep your caravan. Why the fuck do I want a caravan? It's got no fucking wheels. So what, they're gonna fight over this caravan? Oh! <laughs> okay, guys. Get him on <laughs> this is sick. I'm out of here. You're not going anywhere, you thick lump. You thick lump. <laughs> you said till the job's done. He just hit him one time. Did he even hit him? Yeah, <laughs> that's how fast he hit him. Dang! You didn't even see him. No, I didn't even see it. And I've been looking at the screen the whole time. Dang! I think you were looking at Brad Pitt's abs. That's what I thought you were looking at. You didn't see the punch because you are looking at the abs. Like... <laughs> I didn't see the punch. <laughs> I have a job for you. I want you to hold up the bookies. See, they keep talking about these bookies and about this uh, unlicensed boxing fight. Mm -hmm. Why did they make a little dog bitty call? Dribbling on my seats. All right. Oh, look who they hit. Tyrone, what have you done? Here, Tyrone. What have you done? I didn't see it there. It's a four-ton truck, Tyrone. It's not as though it's a packet of fucking peanuts, is it? It wasn't right. a funny angle. It's behind you, Tyrone. <laughs> Get that dog! Get the dog! Ain't no way. Give it that squeaky toy. It shut up last time. Look like a little terrier or something. Like a little Staffordshire terrier. Uh-oh. You can eat that ball. Hey, you. You gonna eat the ball? <laughs> you hear squeaking while you swallow. Oh my gosh! What the fuck? He saw squeaking. <laughs> I didn't expect him to get hurt. Oh, he got hurt, all right. You took the jam out of your donut. You took the fucking jam out of my donut, Tommy. You did. Now we're going to explain this to Bricktop that his fight isn't going to happen. We replaced the fighter. Oh. Who the fuck are we going to replace him with? Let's get the guy that knocked out. Gorgeous. The, the gypsy guy. What's going to pass? 10k. Hey! I do it for a caravan. What's wrong with this one? Uh, it's not for me. It's for me, man. You what? It's not. <laughs> they all passing the picture of his mom. Oh, it's her. That's where it's my. Me, ma. <laughs> What are we waiting for anyway? We are waiting for a man with four fingers carrying a briefcase. The Russian gets the case, we get the money. <laughs> You're the dog. <laughs> the dog name is Squeaky. Oh, was that him? I don't know. How many fingers did he have? I'm sorry, I couldn't get the binoculars out in time. <laughs> the what? Binoculars. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> the binoculars. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a stick up. If you know what's good for you, right? You give me everything. You oh, uh oh. Fish, what are you doing up there? <laughs> he got stuck. Show me your hands. You got five fingers. What kind of heist are they trying to pull? <laughs> this completely backfired on them. <laughs> look, look at them. 
And they on security camera. Yeah, y'all screwed. Uh, what the fuck are you two doing? Get outside, Tyrone. Tyrone, what are you doing? Is this man, Tyrone? He's a man with four fingers and a briefcase. <laughs> oh, he got him. <laughs> he found him. So he got him. <laughs> so, Mickey, you're going down in the fourth. Oh, snap. What kind of fight? Look how big he is. I know. That dude is huge. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> What happened to the fourth? Look how everybody looking. <laughs> what happened to the fourth round? <laughs> what you're doing, Richie? The case was attached to his arm. So why didn't you chop it off? We ain't fucking butchers, Boris. Oh. <laughs> yep, so much. As you know. I cut his arm off. <laughs> I need, I need this briefcase, like he said the, the first time. <laughs> Why didn't you cut it off? I've got a bare knuckle fight in a couple of days. I want to use the pikey. But this time, I do want him to go down in the fourth. And I do mean it this time. This time. Y'all not going to keep on playing with me. OK. They're giving him, he giving him one more shot, one more chance. But I don't know any quite as fucking stupid as these two. Oh, that's what they uh, after. Tyrone. So, so they know him. Everybody know Tyrone. <laughs> hey, you better call Tyrone. Yeah, right? Well, do you want to do it? That depends on you. Hey, this caravan. It's not the same caravan. It's not the same fight. It's a fair deal. Take it. You buy a Tarts mobile palace, there's a little fucking rich. So I'm calling your mum a tar. I just meant... Now save your breath and cured your pies. <laughs> uh, the sinus house frame furniture. And the uh, scarf cushions with the uh, matching sack pack cover. Have I made myself clear, boys? There's something very wrong with this. It was us that wanted to buy a caravan off of him. <laughs> <laughs> Who's bullet tooth? Tony! You silly fuck. He'll find you Moses in the burning bush if you pay him to. I'm coming, baby. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, I'm coming. Bonjour. You give us four days, and I will get you a stone the size of a fucking home. 48 hours. After that, it's your family. And the pigs finish what the dogs don't do. And look, they got it all nice and clean with the plastic. So what should I call you? Should I call you a uh, bullet, a uh, tooth? You can call me Susan if it makes you happy. Tony, there is a man I'd like you to find. You can stay for fucking light. You can add another golden retriever as well. All right, mullet. Hey, Dan, Tony, you all right, mate? I want to know who Black Brick Top's book is. Gonna make it worth my while, mate. Oh! Uh-oh. <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> and you take all the time you want, mate. Fuck the dead dog! I think I'm doing you peen ass. Dang. Slow down, Tony. Slow. Wow. <laughs> he driving down the street. Play some music. Uh-oh. Oh. <laughs> These two black guys work a pawn shop at fucking Smith Street. Oh. Wow. No. <laughs> Did that man dirty? Give me a name. Boris. As in Boris the Bullet Dodger. Why do they call him the Bullet Dodger? Because he dodges bullets heavy. Boy's mama caravan. He's a stubborn bastard. Are you taking the piss? He's a useless shite, that boy. Punish him for me, Errol. Uh oh. I want that pikey to fight. They said at the end of the day, bring him to the fight. He thought it would be a good idea to burn Mickey's mum's caravan while she was asleep in it. Oh, look. Oh. Oh, he burned the caravan with his mama in it. Oh, wow. So they killed his mom. Yeah. 
He said instead of buying them a new caravan, they burnt the caravan down. And he did all of that just to send a message? Jesus. Sorry, Mickey. What the fuck are you still doing here? Down, Gumba! Fuck off, Dad. Fuck off! Down! How silly do I feel? His mum is still smoking next to us. I know I'm asking him to fight. I'll do the fight before he causes any more carnage. I don't know if you're gonna be able to get him down in the fourth round, though. Especially now. He was a highly trained undercover agent. It'll be impossible to track down. There's a strange man down here who wants to sell us an 84 carat stone. Oh, he got it now. I forgot, because he don't want to cut, cut the guy's arm off, I mm -hmm. think. He's a right handful, this fella. So watch out. Not a problem. You're gonna have to get me to a doctor. First the stone, and then I'll get you those doctors. Find my friend a nice Jewish doctor. <laughs> what the fuck do you mean, replicas? Nobody is gonna argue. And I got some extra loud blanks just in case. Oh, in case we have to deafen them to death. <laughs> <laughs> Horace is there. We're coming over. Hold on. He's not on his own. Oh, look at the stash spot. And look, they found it. It's not just the three fellas went in the ass and they locked Boris in the back of the car. Why didn't you tell us that? How far to the Russians? We'll be there in a minute. We can't take him now. We're gonna have to follow him. You shouldn't drink that stuff anyway. Shut up. How do you want to get rid of him? Well, do you want to shoot him? I'll cut him. I got a blade. Yeah, that's the spirit. Of course they fire. Yeah, but how do you know? I mean, they're replicas. Okay, it worked, though. You asshole! Oh! Cows have only been domesticated in the last 8,000 years. The human digestive system hasn't got used to any dairy products yet. Let me do you a favor. Hey, he said milk does not do a body good. Do you want a lesson? Oh! What did he hit? Look like he hit like a little barricade. Like a little thing on the sidewalk. Is that Boris? Who is that? Is that the Russian? I think so. <laughs> oh, snap! They the ones that ran him over. You can bring him with you if you like. Yeah, he was walking in the middle of the street. Like bring? Look. Oh, the knife is in him. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot he was playing with the knife in the back seat. Whoa. Look at the dog. Not taking that dog with you, Vince. <laughs> He's still squeaking. <laughs> Part of the black stuff, landlord. I thought you wanted to get cleaned up. Bathroom's back there. Reach. Uh, Boris. Oh, hey. I certainly told him, Tommy. Get him away. Stop it, get. Look at that, look like a rocket launcher. Come pick us up. Sharpish. Oh, this is thicker. <laughs> I don't want to fuss. And I don't want to put a bullet in your face, but unless you give me exactly what I want, there will be fucking murders. So, you're obviously the big dick. And that on either side here are your balls. You're shrinking. And your two little balls are shrinking with you. And the fact that you've got replica written down the side of your gun. <laughs> <laughs> and the fact that I've got Desert Eagle. 50 caliber. Oh, man. Written on the side of mine. <laughs> Should precipitate your balls into shrinking along with your presence. <laughs> Look at their eyes. <laughs> Fuck off. Okay, I'm gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> Look at <laughs> And they leave it too. I'd have been dipping with the quickness. Look. <laughs> They've been arguing now. Fuck you. Shoot me. 
Now they're gonna keep walking around, pretending they're gonna shoot somebody. Oh, he got the rocket launcher. He he gonna shoot. Happy? Pull your socks up. Oh, he hit Tyrone. Oh, he got hit too. Abby, what's the case? What's Boris doing here? Fuck you! <laughs> He's at two through the door. He don't want it no more. Dang. Fuck you and all. <laughs> he got him. You oh, he ran out of bullets. Bust. Give me the stone. What is he doing down there? Well, I put it down there in case we got mugged. Who is gonna mug two black fellas holding pistols, sat in a car that's worth less than your shirt? Uh -oh. What is they doing? What are they doing? You should never underestimate the predictability of stupidity. <laughs> Cause that is them. They are beyond stupid. Uh, and where's the stone? I Where? I left it in a box. The, the dog. See? They think they're jiving him. Tony, look in the dog. You mean look in the dog? Open him up. <laughs> it's not a fucking tin of baked beans. What do you mean open him up? <laughs> Hey, if you can kill people. No, you can't do this. <laughs> oh. Oh. No. No, no, no. I hate fucking dogs. The dog got the diamond. If you see the pikey, Turkish or his girlfriend, come out before me. Shoot the bastards. The Royal Air stand at the campsite. They're over there now, Governor. I fucking hate pikeys. Oh gosh. I'm I'm nervous. Me too. I'm nervous for somebody. <laughs> <laughs> He's a feisty son of a gun. Isn't he? We gotta say a prayer for them. I don't know. Oh, wow. Oh, they're oh, they just gonna tape up their hands for this one. No head button. Oh. Oh. Look at him, look at him. <laughs> Boy, they nervous. Boy, they nervous. Oh, oh he got some quick hands. Oh, shoot. Yeah, yeah he got some yeah, quick yeah. hands. He working that body. Do not knock him out. Oh, he gonna feel all that tomorrow. Oh, snap! Oh my god. Oh no, babe. Is he about to die? I think he died, Asia. Oh, Asia, Asia, hold on, oh, hold the hell. Hold the Oh, but Jesus. Oh. Oh. He hit him so hard, he... 
Feel like he got slanted in the casket or something. Dang, no! Man, he went head over heels. Yeah. All he's got to do is stay down. Okay, well. Now, we are fucked. <laughs> Did he die? Yeah. Those brick tops got a dozen keen to kill monkeys sitting outside his campsite. I know it's going to be the same for us. You ever cross the road and look the wrong way? Give me that fucking shooter! A few times. You freeze. You just freeze and pull a stupid face. The pikey <laughs> didn't. Why? What did he do? It had previously occurred to me that the gypsy had taken the demise of his mother rather lightly. For every action, there's a reaction. And a pikey reaction is quite a fucking thing. Oh! Oh! Oh, he took out the hitman! Yeah, look. The fight was rigged, alright. Oh! That is when I clocked the pikey had money riding on himself. We've been tucked up. Hey, the jokes is on you. The next day we went to the campsite. I never would have thought. Where is he? In fucking air, that's for sure. Yeah, bollocks. What you doing here? Oh, the dog made it back to the campsite. What's the problem? Or I'll get your dog. On your way. The dog, Tommy. <laughs> get the dog. Look, his dog is not. And his name is not Daisy. His name's Squeaky. Good boy. Good boy, Daisy. Did, didn't the dog have a diamond, though? <laughs> he said, Good boy, Daisy. <laughs> his name ain't Daisy, it's Squeaky. Daisy can't be a boy. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> but don't he got the diamond on him, though? Well, you got a dead man with an arm missing in your boot. Tommy persuaded me to keep the dog, as long as he took it to a vet. Couldn't stand that squeaking anymore. The vet found half an undigested shoe, a squeaky toy, and an 84 carat diamond lodged in its stomach. It's quite amazing what can happen in a week. So what do you do? You go to see the man that knows about these sort of things. Do you know anyone who'd be interested? I'm <laughs> mine. So it's starting all over again. He said, "You you know anybody that might be interested?" Right. I got I got a feeling that everything that transpired, I feel like everything that transpired in that week is about to start all over again. Basically, because old boy about to fly right back out to London again. Yeah, to start all to do it all over. Probably again. do it all over again. Yeah. What do you think? I like these kind of movies where it where there's like so many different players in the game where it makes it kind of hard to understand what the narrative is. Yeah. When you got like so many different characters. That's one thing that I like about this because you had like so many different characters, so many like interchangeable parts where everything kind of like tied into each each other. Yeah. Like you had like like again you had you had the three guys that had the dog. It's like and and and, and Tyrone, you know that they out trying to do what they got to do because they got this diamond and they trying to find somebody to buy it. And then here you go, you got uh, Tommy and you got the Turkish guy, you know the the, the boxing promoters. Yeah. It's like they got their own situation thing going on here and it's like I, I like how everything kind of like comes together even like the guy with the, the the pig farmer he was in he was tied in too with like with the fights and the, and the fight promoter so it's like everybody has something going on but it's like everybody kind of like e eventually like ran into each other <laughs> so so it was almost like it was almost like a like a battering ram like like everybody had something to do with each other yeah. to a degree I'm but, not going to lie, but though. But it started with the diamond. Man, I got confused. I'm not going to lie. I started it's... getting confused with what was going on. I guess because there was exactly what you were just yeah. explaining. Because there was a lot going on. And different people, like, it was like there, this scenario was going on with them. And then this scenario was going on. But I couldn't. You couldn't, like, tie it all together. For some reason, it took I couldn't follow it. Yeah. <laughs> like, I started getting confused <laughs> all the way. Like, literally all the way up until the end. Like, I still didn't understand because... Like with with the dog having the diamond, I thought it was Boris that wanted the diamond all along, right? Mm -hmm. He was the guy that was at the car at the very end, but I didn't. 
Boris, no, he was no, no, he had flew back. He he left and flew back. Oh, Boris was the one that came from the United States, right? Yeah, he left and flew back after um one of the other guys got killed or something like that. Okay. Yeah, like when they, when he ran into the guy with the with the with the Desert Eagle, when he got when they get, they, they kind of ran into each other, he he booked a flight back and left. Okay. And he left and went and went home. And then and then like I said, you had Turkish and you had Tommy. It's like they literally was like scratching and clawing for their life just for the simple fact that they made these bets with with their fighters and stuff saying that, you know, making these agreements with these other loan sharks and these other criminals and people that basically like fix fights, you know, like So like, how did he get away at the end? Who? Uh <clears throat> the Br Turkish and Tommy? Yeah. Oh, because the guy that that played Brad Pitt, the gypsy, mm -hmm. he 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 pretty much got payback because the the pig farmer guy, he had the gypsy's mom killed in the caravan. So when so so when he had her killed in the caravan, mm -hmm. he agreed to go ahead and fight. He was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna go down in the fourth. But little did anybody know, he already had some stuff going on behind the scenes to take out. Uh, the guys like take out his men, and then that's why when he pulled up at the end, they were sitting in the car ready to shoot. So he was, so he was, so, <laughs> so 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 basically he right. came he came back for blood. He came back for revenge in the end. So he pretty much that's how, that's how Tommy and Turkish that's how they how their lives got saved in the end. Even though they didn't, you know, even though their fighter didn't go down in the fourth because this was the second time that they they fighter would have messed up. And messed mm -hmm. up the bets, the side bets. Yeah. And so, if they had messed up this time, which they did mess up because the fighter messed up, they were going to probably pay with their life. But the gypsy guy already had that under control, and they didn't even know it because he was getting revenge for his mom that got burnt up in a caravan. Man, how do you know all of that? <laughs> I was just paying attention to it. I was too. <laughs> you got a mosquito on you? What? Oh, I thought there was something mosquito on you. Okay. Oh, I was gonna... <laughs> I thought you had something on you. I was, I was about to say. What? <laughs> Man, you play too much. Okay, y'all. Yeah, but again, like I said, and, and then also another thing was like the language barrier too, because everybody was speaking in like UK and maybe, British. Maybe maybe that has something to do with it too, because then, some of the stuff I couldn't understand, like the the what was it, Smokies or Dokies or what were the names? What I said. Of who? I didn't know, y'all. I just I couldn't follow the names it. of who. Well, they were referring to it as different stuff. Like I couldn't follow. Oh, I didn't understand the, the, what the, some uh, of it meant. All those names. I don't know. I think I think that was like like their slang words, which like calling each other names. Yeah, I didn't. Okay. Because because I, I didn't know that either. I I didn't know what. <laughs> I couldn't follow. He kept saying that name, Pikey. I was like, Pikey. What? Yeah, what is a Pikey? I was like, I think that's like a a, a slanderous way to call somebody a gypsy. Okay. Mm -hmm. But then what is? Well, I feel bad asking that question. That's what I'm saying. I didn't know what that that's why I was like, I, that's why I was like, I don't even know if that's a good word or a bad word or not. <laughs> no, I don't even know what that. I'm like, what? What is that? Like, yeah. I kept wondering what it was. Me too. And then, and then, what was the other word I, that you said it was? I don't know. I don't want to say that word. Either. Okay. Well, that's what I'm saying. I didn't. I didn't. Know. <laughs> I don't know if they. Get, I don't and know so, if they good or bad words or not. I'm sorry if I offended anybody because I didn't understand. Me some too. Because I, I said it early on too, but. I, a, a, a little bit, a little, but but when they kept saying, but when they kept saying, I hate, and they said their name, I was like, yeah, yeah, that's more like a slang word okay. for, a, or derogatory term. Well, I shouldn't have asked what it was. I didn't know that. That's I didn't what either. It was. I, I didn't no either. It it, it it was like it definitely was a language barrier. Oh my god! I just appreciate no, everybody that suggested this movie too, because I, I I see why a lot of people kind of gravitated towards it and really like it, because you got to really pay attention there, because there's a lot of different languages like. The Russian guy, then you had the right. people talking in UK, and then I don't even think you're supposed to understand what a gypsy what a gypsy says because he, Brad Pitt, he completely yeah, had, every time they he would, played that part perfect. Yeah, every time they he would say something, they would say what what he say, and they they didn't even know what he said. <laughs> he would have to repeat it. They all have to repeat it. So how it we again. supposed to know? Yeah, y'all. It, it was tough though. Okay, y'all got to tap in. Okay, help me out with this. Yeah, Please tell me I'm not the only one that's confused. Yeah, like, because there's some other pieces too that we not that we didn't completely connect to. Okay, that we might uh, need some help I feel on. like I'm gonna have to watch it again to really get it. Like maybe a third time even before I can really put that together. There was a lot of different characters. It was a lot, a lot going of different on. people. Yeah, yeah, y'all. Yeah, so I don't know if y'all enjoyed this. Be sure you give us a big thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, smash the notification bell so you don't miss any videos from Asian BJ. And if ain't nobody else told you, I love you. And we're going to see y'all in the next video, y'all. <laughs> Bye, y'all.